All right, during a recent interview with Joe Button, Candace Owens further discussed her issues with Lizzo. Candace referred to the time she called Lizzo's behavior problematic when the singer was twerking at an NBA game in a thong back in 2019. Now, she also mentioned how she felt gaslit after Lizzo replied to her concerns and said, it's a problem uh, if you took behavior, if you took issue with her behavior. Like, it's your problem. It's a you problem if you took issue with her behavior. What are your thoughts? And does Candace have a point? Armand, let's go to you on this one first. What do you think? I totally agree with uh, Candace Owens. I've been talking about this for a while when it comes to Lizzo. Um, at the end of the day, let's just call a thing a thing. Lizzo is a heavy set, overweight woman. You've got your butt out at a game like that. That's blasphemous. We don't want to see that. Everybody doesn't need to see that. That's not flattering. Not only did she do that, she also was getting uh, water, a water hose sprayed all on her in a bikini. Like everybody doesn't need to see your weight flopping around, especially when you don't even want to be that size. So I, my, the problem that I have with Lizzo is she'll act as if she's so happy and is body positive that she'll go out and do these crazy things and then be on the internet crying when people have an opinion or crying to the fact that, you know, people won't let her change and lose weight. My thing is, girl, listen, you do a lot of this stuff for attention. You got to remember, Lizzo was trying to find a hit for a while and she could not find a hit for a while. So she was doing a lot of stuff on the internet to trend. And I think that she was gaslighting the public because she was trying to make people feel bad for her because she was overweight. Listen, let's just be clear. We don't want to see all of that flying around everywhere. That's not flattering. It's not cute. And so she, I, I stand with Candace on 1,000%. It's disgusting. All right, Al. You know what's so wild, Claudia, uh, and I know you you have expressed this sentiment as well. I have found myself actually agreeing with Candace Owens more and more lately as she asserts, assessed certain observations. And what's so interesting is, I don't know if the soulmates remember, but y'all remember months ago on this show, I said that I felt like there was a rebranding in her image that was occurring and that we were going to see a softer, nicer side that we could relate to. And guess what? what it's happening and now i'm like geez the one girl that i used to despise and think was just like one of those one of those renegade um voices in in entertainment is now becoming a voice of reason i'm just confused but she does make a lot of sense about a lot of things you know kenneth owens problem was never that she wasn't intelligent she did she's always said smart things she's always been brilliant she's always been intelligent but she also two things can be true at the same time while she is intelligent she does make a lot of fair observations that are true she also tap danced for the white man she's also an agent of of them and she's a black person that makes a lot of money by criticizing publicly Black people. And sometimes we like for her to keep that stuff in the house. Right. I do agree with her on this topic. I do think that uh, I love, I wish Lizzo would go back to making her music, playing her flute and showing how talented she is. What other sisters do you see out there playing the flute like that? That has talent like that, that has a face like that. But yet for a couple of years, and this is old news, I will say this for a couple of years, all we saw was her butt. And I was myself getting sick of it as right. well. I feel like a lot of times people feign body positivity because they don't want to change their situation. And that's on them. I, I, I don't want to tell them to change if that's why you feel comfortable, but then you don't feel comfortable. Then you like it. Then you don't like it. My thing is this, it's about Candace Owens right now. Candace, you are smart. If you would just stay in this lane and be like fair, but also have the same smoke for white people once in a while, we'd probably be more supportive of you, but it seems like you make all your dollars trying to make sense out of our behavior inclining black people. And I'd really never hear you have any smoke for anybody white. So are all white people perfect to you and black people are the only ones that can be criticized? That's what my issue is with her. Other than that, she does make sense a lot. And I sometimes hate that I agree, but I gotta I gotta give credit where credit is due, even if I don't really rock with you. I really do. So, ugh, Candace Owens, damn it. That was not in my bingo card for 2024. <laughs> She's right. I agree. Get that out of here. That's disgusting, mortifying. Yeah, all right.